Okay, in 1.4 we're going to talk a little bit about graphing utilities. And uh, one that I like is Desmos. Um, and you can go to desmos.com and you can graph pretty much anything. Uh, it doesn't even have to be in function form. You can have implicit functions that you write into the Desmos and it, it can figure it out. Parametric. Uh, kind of anything that you would want to graph you can do there. Um, another thing that the chapter talks about, the section talks about, is picking out the right window for a graph. And I'm just going to give you an example. Um, maybe you have a function that when you first look at it, it looks like this, and your viewing window kind of cuts off there. And just from that picture, you might think that that is a parabola. But if you zoom out, maybe the rest of the graph looks like right, we've got this stuff. But if you zoom out, maybe it turns down, and maybe you actually have a cubic or something like this. But when you only have this initial window, you might not see all of that graph. So picking the right window means you want to be able to see all of the turning points, all of the roots of the polynomial that you may be graphing. Um, if it's a rational function, maybe you want to see the asymptotes too. But you want to pick the window that sort of shows you all of the, the important parts of the graph. Right? It keeps going up and to the right and it keeps going down and to the left. Since it keeps doing that, that's not all that important. Right. This sort of implies that it keeps going up and to the right and it keeps going up and to the left. But when we zoom out, we see that that's not the case. So we want to have the viewing window of our graph that would show us all those important bits. And maybe the viewing window that we want would be something like that if we have this cubic. That way I see the roots, which has two of them. I see I've got a relative maximum, a relative minimum, that sort of thing. I've got an inflection point somewhere in here, right? And that sort of tells us all of the important points for the graph, uh, the, the middle behavior, not the end behavior, right? The end behavior is what happens as you get close to infinity with the inputs. We want to know what happens in the middle of the graph. So when we pick a viewing window, we want to make sure that we can kind of see what's going on with that graph. Okay. Uh, if you're having trouble with your viewing windows and things like that, um, see me in person or set up a Zoom meeting, and we can you know, sort of try and walk you through some of that stuff. But I don't want to talk about every different style of calculator that you can have. Um, so either read your instructions manual which is probably my first suggestion and then if you still can't figure it out um, talk to me and see me and we'll we'll try and get you sorted on how to do the graphing things Desmos is also really good um, but you can't use that necessarily while you're doing your exams so having a graphing calculator would be useful as long as you know how to use it okay I'm, that's all I'm gonna do for 1.4